The NRA's Wayne LaPierre was on uh, Meet the Press this yeah. past weekend, and uh, David Gregory decided to ask him, you know, what about what's going on with Mayor Bloomberg? Who, you know, let's talk about Mayor Bloomberg wanting to regulate, you know, how much soda you can drink when you go to the store and buy your big drinks. What size can you buy? What size soda can you buy? How much salt can restaurants put in your food? You know, Mayor Bloomberg, nanny state. And I agree with many of these issues. Mayor Bloomberg is, you know, but is I that think, the important I stuff? I think the gun thing that is but, might be yes, the yes. one issue that I'm Matt critical, agrees with Mayor Bloomberg I'm, on. I'm critical on Mayor Bloomberg for the silly issues like soda regulation and stuff like that. I'm super critical on Mayor Bloomberg for the absolute lack of care for anyone's civil liberties, stop and frisk. These issues should be the ones talked about, not the soda, not anything else, but those are the issues that should be talked about when discussing Bloomberg. But that doesn't happen, so I'm critical on him on all those issues. But there's one issue, just like Rand Paul, who's right on drones and apparently marijuana, you know, there's one issue Bloomberg is right about, and that's guns. Now, we all know that he has uh, mayors with illegal, his, uh, his organization, Mayors Against Illegal Guns. Handguns. Against handguns. Mayor, I think it's Mayors Against Handguns. No, I think it's Mayors Against Illegal Guns or yeah, something we'll like see. that. Well, Cliff, Cliff Schechter uh, yeah, works Cliff with their Schechter. organization. It's a very great organization. Yeah. Yep. Um, just recently, actually, in the special election in Chicago, uh, a, a, uh, a candidate, Robin Kelly, who is backed by Bloomberg's organization and received a um, lot, lot of backing from his organization, she ended up winning on the gun control. She won the campaign, her, uh, uh, the election, special election, on the gun control issue. And um, so David Gregory, back to David Gregory on Meet the Press, had uh, Wayne LaPierre on. <laughs> and let's listen to what Wayne LaPierre had to say about Bloomberg's organization and him putting money into candidates that are for gun control. They sure don't want him to tell him what self-defense firearms to own, and he can't buy America. He's so reckless in his terms of his comments on, on, on this whole gun issue. He talks about guns buzzing. He's talking about machine guns. None of these guns are machine guns. But is he, he going to have an impact politically? He wants to be a counterweight to you. He wants yeah. to go into these races in 2014 and spend along with you. Are you preparing to arm politically your people who agree with you, candidates and whatnot? in 2014? We have people all over, millions of people, sending us five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollar checks saying, stand up to this guy that says we can only have three bullets, which is what he said. Stand up to this guy that says ridiculous things like the NRA wants firearms with nukes on them. I mean, it's insane, the stuff he says. All right, says. but let me ask you. <laughs> this, this is just too, too, too cute. This is just cute. I mean, what else it can is, you... It's cute. It's cute. La Wayne LaPierre of the NRA talking about how insane the things coming out of Bloomberg's mouth is on guns. This is the same guy who a week after the Newtown tragedy in Connecticut that left, what, 20 children dead because of the guns that uh, Bloomberg and many others want, you know, banned from, you know, a regular citizen being able to purchase. Or at least regulated. Regulated. At least have a background, background check, check on. Yes, exactly. Let's, let's take a look at some of the things Wayne LaPierre of the NRA said just a week after this tragedy in Newtown. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Uh, with all the foreign aid the United States does, can't we afford to put a police officer in every single school? Politicians pass laws for gun-free school zones. Uh, how many more copycats are waiting in the wings for their moment of fame? Uh, I call on Congress today to act immediately to appropriate whatever is necessary to put armed officers in every single school in this nation. These are just things that he said a week after, just to, to say why we need more guns around schools. And then just some other things he said, how violent Latino gangs are out to get you, and that's why we need guns. They're streaming over our border, that's why we need guns. And so is Al-Qaeda streaming over our borders, another reason we need guns. Obama wants to take your guns, so we need guns to make sure there's no tyrannical government. Uh, if, you want guns, if you want gun safety, he said, civilization will collapse. Uh, thanks to Obama... There will soon be no more cops. Cops won't be able to afford, to, the police departments won't be able to afford to have so many police officers. So we all need to protect ourselves with guns. The NRA is not paranoid. We just need guns. These are just some of the things that he said. And bringing up the NRA is totally not paranoid thing. He brought up how hurricanes, tornadoes, you know, natural disasters are why we need guns. I guess you could just go outside and shoot at that tornado. Well, because when what happens is yes, the tornado or, yes, opens up the border for Al-Qaeda, who have a secret pathway 
through the uh, Latin Kings gang, and then they team up together to come steal your TV. Of course, of course. And that's why they're having babies here as we speak. 